Hey, what's up? I'm looking at a KitchenAid IC series. Uh, probably means integrated circuit. It's fairly new. It's a, uh, well, I'd say it's probably three years old. But just looking at the buttons, it doesn't, I don't think it has a readout. It would probably have some sort of brain. But what the problem was is it had, it was, it was overflowing. It would just keep going and not do anything. And this particular kind is a kind you can have freestanding if you want to put a plywood top on it or if you want to put it inside your cubby hole. And it's got this plate solid here and solid back here. And so that's basically what differentiates the freestanding uh, convertibles from the, the built-in and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this panel off here and look inside and see if I can see a float mechanism there should be a mechanism in here that senses the water level and that mo most likely would be the problem Let's see. so this thing just pops off and we can see that it actually had a, a leak here, a small leak. And this is the vent. Okay, so this has a drying system. Um, and so there's no actual heat element in it um, on the bottom. The heat element seems to be right here. No, uh, yeah, so it's heated. it heats the water apparently. And I've actually never seen a dishwasher like this before. Hmm. So it has this blow dryer. Apparently there's some sort of blow dryer in here that uh, blows air through the system. And I don't see the Okay, so this, here's the pressure switch. Now this pressure switch is probably going to be the culprit right here. This pressure switch... ...senses the water level. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Google that. And here's another pressure switch right there. So, looks like we got two pressure switches here. I'm gonna have to Google this one, guys. Never saw one like this before. Other than that, it probably works fine. It's just that it fills uh, with water and apparently keeps filling. And that's the problem with this one. And there's a little disclaimer for you. It's got a little weep tube here. Okay, well back to the drawing board, guys. If you've got one and you know what the problem is, please let me know. I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to look up the model number on this one. And here comes the copters, the COVID copters, tracking and tracing. I'd say.